chip the puck forward. It missed Mac Byers. Good job by Tyler Pang to keep the puck in, but Trail will regroup. Kyle Schrankoff through the neutral zone for the Smoke Eaters. Into over to Michael Hodge. Hodge, rebound to score! It's an ugly bounce that went to the slot. Mac Byers didn't even get a good piece of it. And Connor Hopkins didn't even expect it coming, and it's one nothing trail, only a minute 32 into the first period. Max Balaka back down low, looking for the lead pass over to Benny Norland. Norland's off on a breakaway. Can he get all the trigger? No, the rebound's loose. They score! Welcome back to the lineup, Air Force One. The Air Force connection of Norlin and Willie Rhyme capitalize. 1-1 one, one is the score. The Warriors are on the board. Demuro carries it in, feeds it back over to Donaldson. Donaldson loses it, and another odd man rush opportunity for West Kelowna. Kevin Tilsley. Tilsley's looking for a man. He's got it. They score! Oh, capitalizing on the chances right off the bat. West Kelowna has now taken the lead. It's two to one. Sam Anderson. Back up top to Michael Hodge. Hodge to Demuro. Back to Hodge. Hodge cross ices it to Jones. Dermot Demuro. Michael Hodge. He's looking for a shooting lane. He fires. Hits a body in front. The rebounds loose. Hodge again. He scores. Michael Hodge, the rookie, he has multi-point games last night and a multi-point game tonight. And the Trail Smoke Eaters have that go-ahead goal. It's 3-2. to two. Mike Hardman's got Willie Ryman and Chase Dubois with him. Tyler Pang at the point. Down low. There's Hardman at drive. Blocker save. Looks like from Marku. Cross ice feed. Sharp angle. He shoots. He scores. Chase Dubois on the sharpest angle you'll ever see. This game's all tied up at three. And that's the hands of a Chase Dubois. I was talking about that last period. He didn't have much to shoot at, and he doesn't need much to shoot at. He got exactly what he wanted. He's a goal scorer, and that looked like it. A much needed goal on the power play to kick off this third period. And oh, a sloppy play there. Kent Johnson steals it. Braden tucked down low to Johnson. Sharp angle. He scores. Just when you thought the sharp angles can't get any sharper, John Richmond, the 15 year old Kent Johnson makes it even sharper. Four to three. Oh, that was, uh, that was tough to watch. It was just an absolute dog's breakfast in the Warriors zone. And, all kinds of mistakes going on. It should have never happened. 4-3 uh, trail, a really nice shot, but that whole thing was a terrible sequence Warriors in the Warriors goal. zone. The Third period, uh, this, this penalty kill is pretty huge, Chase, it really is. Braden Tuck out there with Jeremy Dier Demuro, Jeremy Smith at the point. There's Kent Johnson, who scored the last goal. He's hoping to add to his total. This line scored last time there on the ice, and there they are again. Jeremy Smith scores right away, just four seconds into the power play, and the Trail Smoke Eaters have added their goal total to two more. It's five to three. We'll just dump the puck in. Offsides waved off, Shrank off. Tried to clear, he couldn't do it. Out comes Parm Dollywell to Dubois. Back over to Dollywell. Parm Dollywell's going to walk in. He shoots. He scores. Just what the doctor ordered. Chase Dubois to Parm Dollywell. And the lead is cut to one. And by the Smoke Eaters. And oh, Kent Johnson almost had an opportunity. But now we have a delayed penalty coming up on the West Kelowna Warriors, I believe, to the game. You're right. You're right, Chase. Carter Jones against, looks like to be Mike Hardman there. When in the draw there was Jones. Now he'll start setting up over at the point. Cross ice over to Hodge. Trevor Zins. There he is. They score. And I'm not sure who got that one. It might have been Jared Dosey or it might have gone <coughs> a different player. Zins is celebrating. He's definitely going to have a point no matter what. But it, now it is six to four. The two goal lead is restored. For yeah, trail. there you go. And that was actually avoidable because the mistake that caused the penalty was uh, just Kind of like another turnover. Turnovers will kill you. Tuck, who's had a heck of a game, and we're talking about Fortis Energy players of the game. You got to put him on that list too. Quick uh, shot on, blocked in front, and that's going to do it. 
And Braden Tuck and Kevin Tilsley sharing some words after. Oh, Kevin Tilsley. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> the West Kelowna Warriors, unfortunately, cannot yep. sweep the home at home against the Trail Smoke Eaters. They pick up an OT win last night, and they'll lose 6-4 to four tonight here in West Kelowna over at the home opener at Royal LePage Place. Shots on goal, 30-30 apiece. Uh, a fairly even game, but really, Trail figured out how to, you know, score on the power play. That was the story of this hockey game. Don. That was the story. Yeah, it really was, and uh, wasn't you know wasn't the Warriors looked a little rusty to be honest, and uh, I don't think they can play better than they did tonight. And probably the the team that won deserved to win tonight, and uh, and the Warriors are gonna have to just kind of do a little more work on that. We're gonna do a salute to the fans, thanking them for coming for their home opener. The tribute to the Humboldt Broncos.